My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can delete duplicate rows in an Excel or a data table with UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. We have an Excel sheet here. I got two columns, ID and name, and we want to dupl delete duplicate rows. That is, for example, row two and row four. You can see that the ID and the name is the same. As well as row six and eight, that's four delta, four delta. However, uh, row seven and row nine, they are not the same. They got the same name, but they don't got the uh, same ID, so we won't delete those. Let's see how that is done. <coughs> Sorry. In UiPath. Let us close this Excel sheet here. And first we will drag in an Excel application scope. Then we will choose the workbook path and that is the path of our uh, workbook. Mine is called example. And then we want to uh, have a read range. We want to read the data from the Excel sheet. Read range here. Drag this guy in. And we, re we will read sheet one and then we will output it to a data table. So we can call that control K, DT example, like this. And we can change the setting up here in the Excel application scope. Let's disable visible because we don't want to see the operations while UiPath perform it. We just want them done. And um, that is useful if you want to see what's going on, maybe debug a little bit, that then you can have visible. However, we won't in this case. And then we, we have it as a data table. Now you can start here. If you came here to remove duplicate rows in a data table, you just start here. So then we'll find a um, remove duplicate row in our data table collection here. See that data table? Remove duplicate rows. And we'll specify what data table we will remove the duplicate rows from. And we will just write to the same data table. So just choose the same data table here and there. And now what we'll do here is that if, you, uh, if you're operating with the Excel sheet, we will delete the range from the Excel sheet, uh, worksheet, sorry, I will show you why in a moment. So um, delete range here, drag this guy in. And again, if you're only working with a data table, just forget this step. So delete range. Let me uh, open the example and I'll show you why we want to delete this range. So first here, we if we uh, remove duplicate rows and we just print our data table in the Excel sheet, then we will have uh, only six rows instead of eight. So we will write from here to there, and then we'll still have the data here because we'll keep them in our Excel worksheet. So we wanna, uh, what we'll do here is that we'll delete all rows like this, and then we'll just print uh, whatever whatever in our uh, edit a data table, we'll just print them in, into that uh, this Excel worksheet and uh, so we'll make sure that we only got the data that we want. We also want to have, so say for example, I delete these two here. We can see that the t table range doesn't adjust dynamically. We'll make sure that it uh, will do that. So let me get this data in again. Let me close it. Go to a UI path. So we'll delete the range. We won't delete the headers. So we will delete from A2 to maybe B100. Again, just choose how many, you can choose B10,000. So to make sure that you are actually deleting what you want. And then we wanna make sure that we adjust our uh, table range dynamically. So choose the shift cells here and the entire row like this. So now that is done. And then we can just choose to write um, our um, our range uh, from uh, our data table up here. So under Excel, choose the right range here. And we will uh, specify uh, where we want to write. So we want to write um, into sheet one, that's fine. The range we will write, that will be again A2 because we kept the headers on, remember that, to B100. We won't add the headers because we already got them. And then we can just um, have the DT example like this. And now we can run it and we can see that we are indeed will delete uh, duplicate rows and we'll adjust the table size dynamically. <sighs> Let us wait a few seconds. It will now we're done. We can check if our mission is 
accomplished. So we'll open our Excel worksheets. And by the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. And boom, mission accomplished. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, the duplicate rows are removed. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and um, RPA. Have a good day. Bye-bye.